But this area here now, where the school used to be, it's like where, where the football pitch used to be, where the car park used to be, and the old sports centre is now an ugly school and a little walkway through to the building. And it's just, let's just look at it. Okay, no one wants their kid, no one's kid, no, no parent is going to send their kid back to this school here underneath that, underneath that thing there. And now they're saying they're opening the school in January the 18th. Oh, okay. So, over January the 18th. But like I said, parents are like, well, what's going to happen by January the 18th? And they're like, oh, maybe the building may be covered. And they're like, well, my kids are still not coming here. You know that? Like, like I, said, would you, I wouldn't the say trauma. my kids. It's just bringing back memories. And like, mm. that school is done now. Like, their little pet project that no one wanted is the cause of all of this palaver. And just look at it. Like that. Are they going to take out the cladding that's in there? Mate. That should have been dealt with a long time ago, innit? They're dealing with Camden and all these other places. Why are they not dealing with right in front of their faces? A school. Yeah, a school that they want kids to actually go back to. Mm -hmm. so, so what's happening in, in behind here, there? I think, look, look, you can look through, it just looks like a meeting point for police. They're just sitting down doing nothing. What are they doing? And there's nothing really for them to do other than keep people out. That's the only job of the police, isn't it, really? That like, to keep people out of the cordons and out of the safe, bo safe points. So it's obviously that's, that must be an exit, an entrance for maybe private ambulances or whatever. Me, it's like I said, it's completely not a mess up. I'm off camera. <laughs>